and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Swain now in legendary mode for the Lab of Legends. As y'all know, I'm going to be putting together a video for each one of these champions to have up in the playlist on YouTube if you want to see any of the champions if you're struggling with them or if you just want to watch some really fun Lab of Legends gameplay. They will all be up there. Right now we got the five um, in here. We got these five. Swain will, will be number six. And then we'll have, you know, all these that we have to get to also. So we're going to be trying to get to all these different champions. Today, that's what we're doing. We, we got Lissandra first shot today. Let's try Swain. All right, so let's take a look at Swain. Basically, uh, we, you know, we're going to be a Noxus deck where I think that the best uh, power for this deck is going to be Mana Flow. And to be honest, Mana Flow is probably the very best passive power in the entire game if you're struggling with a champion Feel free to choose mana flow but i'm going to try to choose a lot of different powers with the different champions some of them though we're going to use mana flow and this is going to be one of them basically because we only have the one one mana unit with legion saboteur we got like the good twos that we're kind of starting with and so i kind of feel like mana flow starting with these twos can be pretty nice plus our our champion swain is five mana we want to get to that a little earlier than normal so i think mana flow is going to be a good power to start with so let's get to it we got nine stages, starting with three in Shadow Isles with the spiders. Here we go. All right, this is a good opening hand. We don't really need Death's Hand against just the spiders, though, so I'm going to send that back. But I'm going to keep these different twos, probably leading with Legion Grenadier. We're going to have two mana right away so we can play like grenadier on round one and then uh drummer plus saboteur round two. Oh, this is a bad attack i'm sorry i was talking and i just instinctively attacked basically you never attack the round one into the pesky specter because the pesky specter is just gonna die anyway that was a really bad attack my bad my bad yeah all right well ballista can do a little bit better blocking. And I may actually want to... Yeah, so that... We're going to take a little bit extra damage here, but hopefully that won't cost us. And hopefully we can still get through Thresh and not worry about it. I'm actually going to play this City Breaker. I think the City Breaker can just help get even more damage across and just block more damage. These Vile Thieves... Okay, so we're down to 25. How are we doing non-combat wise? Two? Yeah, we're not we're not close at all. Alright, I guess I should have played the Legion Saboteur first. I was I was thinking that like if I played one of these things, they usually have the arachnoid horror, the three the two mana three two, and I was thinking that they were gonna be blocking the Swain. What a draw with that Death Hand. Keep me, you know, save two life right there. Because that's game. So the, yeah, the Basilis Bloodseeker is here in the Swain deck to level up Swain. Because it, it does eight damage for leveling up the Swain. And so that's what it's really in here for, is like, they're, they're probably thinking, okay, you're going to have Swain, but how are we going to actually try to get a leveled up Swain? And so that's what the Basilis Bloodseeker is doing. We can have Wow, we got some good choices here. We got some good choices. Crimson Disciple, Crimson Awakener, Vladimir. Vladimir with Swain, or Gangplank with Swain, with Monkey Idol and Warning Shot. Both very good choices. I like it. I'm going to choose one of these two. Nothing wrong with this Nasus pile, and I've, I've taken Nasus before. Uh, but I like both of these. I just feel like Warning Shot's probably not going to be that good of a card. But the monkey idol is going to be great. I think we're going to take Vladimir, honestly. 
yeah, I think I'm taking Vladimir. I like, because we have we have the uh, mana flow, so I like having Crimson Disciple on round one. I think this could be an awesome round one play. So let's do it. Chat was saying Nasus. Chat was saying Nasus is S tier, weight of judgment, level Swain super fast, and Nasus can carry real hard. I'm good with my Vladimir. Oh, I can't wait. Back to egg. Did it move? Don't want to attack because then they just block with the hapless aristocrat, turn the bark beast into a three-three. Don't want that. So my plan, you know, I kept all everything because so we can go Crimson Disciple. Messy. Hmm. I guess we gotta block here. Yeah, and take three. Otherwise, you can just block here and take three. Yeah, I guess if we're gonna take three either way, I'd rather look like this. I guess we'll take that. I guess we'll make that trade. Yeah, because I mean, the Death Sand's going to be able to kill another mess trade later anyway. I have my orders. Alright, so Vladimir's at 2 out of 5. I wish Vladimir just had regen all the time. I think they could I think they could make Vladimir just have regen all the time, and I don't think that'd be too good. Everything's in place. But Vladimir has to be at the end, we don't want to kill our things. Okay, GG's. Yeah, Siphoning Strike is awesome in this mode. We, Yeah, that's, that's a card that you want to get sometimes. But yeah, I guess that used to be in Nasus. But yeah, they they replaced that because it was kind of too good. Twin Shadows with one of these. I like Twin Shadows Swain. Of course, we're a Swain deck anyway. But, you know, so then we can have like the two Fearsomes um, where we can have one Swain hit and, you know, do three and, and help level up the second Swain. Fervor is great at leveling up our our champions and could be good removal. Let's take this Fervor. Twin Vlad could be pretty cool too. Yeah, with the with the two triggers, that's true. That could be good too. I'm hoping to get like a, a minus cost on one of them. I want this five five. I can see keeping that Awakener, the 5-5. Five, five. Anyway, I'm hoping to get like a minus cost on one of them so they don't both cost 5 mana, so you'll make one of the champions cost 4, one cost 5. Especially with costing, because costing 4, you get we get to play on round 3 when we have the attack token with having the mana flow. I want to make this trade so that they don't get to get a free two drop with the Vault of Helia, because otherwise they would, you know, that Warren's Prey would turn into a two drop. Wow, down to eight. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. Down to seven. Dusk Rider gone. All right, that'll put them down to six. I'll try anyone you want. Okay, so this is five. Mm. I have my orders. 
Alright. We should just do it. And we're done with Thresh. Alright, so far so good. Let's get another passive power. That was... <laughs> yeah, that was... Maybe the fastest I've defeated Thresh in Legendary. Maybe not, but... That one was pretty easy. Start of the game, draw two. Don't love. Round start, draw an extra card. Don't love. Allies have attack. Raise my power to match my health. Don't love that either. Hmm. I don't really like any of these powers. I guess... I think we're re-rolling. You don't really need to just, like, draw some extra cards. Especially because of the... Like, in Piltover and Zon. That first one in Piltover and Zon. With... Uh, the landmark that makes you draw the extra cards that can definitely be a downfall. So I'm gonna just re-roll here Allies everywhere that cost three or less are lurkers and have lurk. That's cool And when you cast a spell cast it again on the same targets That could be pretty cool too that you could double up Nocturne Fervor, double up Death Sand, double up Blade's Edge But to be honest, we don't have that many spells. We do have a lot of allies that cost three or less Let's make them all lurkers Let's do it. Let's make them all lurkers I guess confront grant something challenger weapon hilt's like the obvious card whisper words for like if we need it I guess it's weapon hilt mm, I don't know If you haven't seen the other videos, like I said, with the spells, never use your rerolls right here. Because you're you're just going to get random cards. There, It's just not worth the reroll because how valuable rerolls are. Whisper Words is a good draw spell. So I, all right, we'll take Whisper Words, I guess. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure we're going to need that. But I guess we, I could see us like needing that in some matchups like, against like Victor or something. Oh, right, that other one was only slow spells. Sorry, that, that got doubled up. My bad, my bad. Right, I knew that, I just didn't. I don't know what I was saying. Alright, so we have three lurkers. Oh, I can't wait. My turn. Ah, Miss Lurk. We'll keep our Crimson Disciple alive. Two down to 28. Let me show you what I can do. A chill in the air. Delicious. Like, if I play the Legion Drummer, then we're just only trading with the Avaros and Sentry, and I don't really want to do that. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Maybe I should just save Spell Mana right there. Fantastic. All right, so I'm gonna try to. Okay, so yeah, we kill the babbling beer. So basically, I just did that to help level up the swains. So now the swains are at nine out of twelve. We get the new swain also. So we'll have the ephemeral one. Level up, Swain. Yeah, we are missing Lurk quite a bit in our Mono Noxus deck, aren't we? Looks like I'm going to need these Whispered Words. Search 
Man, they are... They are killing my stuff. This isn't great. Down to eighteen. I can use the Swain's Ravenous Flock, but I really want that Swain. Oh, I guess we just use the Ravenous Flock. All right. But I really wanted, like you know, the Swain to go along with these City Breakers. Maybe just keep this thing alive. That's going to get a good amount of damage in right here. Puts him down to 9. What do you want? We've missed... We haven't hit Lurk a single time. Surprisingly enough. Actually, draw anything. Mm. That's four times, right? Yeah. What's up? Okay, let's draw Swain. Let's draw Swain. Thank you. Let's even just attack with both. Whoa, we hit Lurk! Alright, so that forces them to block both of those. Now we, we can start stunning with our, you know, build your own Leviathan. Okay, so we lost 10 life. This is the first Freljord stage. We've lost 10 life.
Yeah, we only hit Lurk that one time. All right, we'll let City Breaker finish the job. Good job, City Breaker. Whew, that was a close one, though. So now we have 10 less life. That's the first of the three Freljords. We still have the Scar Grounds and then Sejuani. We're going to need something good here. Five mana LeBlanc. I like the LeBlanc, but we already have we already have our other champions cost five. So the LeBlanc's gonna be a nine six quick attack. Dude, we gotta take a nine six quick attack. We need to make our things cost less though. <laughs> Alright, Legion Drummer with Overwhelm or Saboteur have regen. Obviously the regen means nothing on the Saboteur. Could re-roll, but I don't I don't want to use the re-roll yet. No, I don't I don't want whisper words. I don't want more copies of that. I, I we need to like stabilize and have different threats and stuff. I maybe we'd need to use a re-roll actually here, because these just don't really matter. Yeah, let's use a re-roll. Alright, Death Sand's getting us a Poro. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, Death Sand's getting us a Poro. I don't love that. That first one getting the little block was really cool, but that second one especially used a reroll and it wasn't even that good to begin with. Don't love it at all. is risky. Are we going to hit Lurk? I think we're going to hit Lurk. Yeah. That's what's up. Okay, well, we hit Lurk. But of course, like, best case scenario is basically this Crimson Disciple trading with that thing. Which isn't a bad case scenario. I think I... Okay. Basically, I think I just keep up the Death Hand. Okay, because I was worried about the, um, you know, the 3-2 that does the 1 damage to everything. Worried about that card. I'll try anyway. Okay. No extra mana for them. My turn. Lift with your back, not fleet. Not bad, not bad. Oh, Tarkaz is a problem. Now this starts turning into a problem. Um I need to kill these overwhelmed things. City Breaker. All right, just gonna pass and see what happens. That's, a, that's okay. Right, or let's see. Walk. Walk, walk. Yeah. Because you block there, and then... Oh, this just does the one damage to all the battling things, right? So, okay. 
do we want? Yeah, that's good. Okay, that works. Where are you at for leveling up? Only one? Two, three, four. All right, let's put put both those in place. A so Crimson Awakener will level up Vladimir. And I don't really know why we need that to happen. It's just not a good attack, is it? Delicious. Doesn't really seem like it. Just you. This doesn't really seem like a good attack. So we're back to 22. We got to heal our Nexus for two, thanks to the Vladimir. Swain. Oh. Uh, usually I want to play this Swain on offense, but I am scared of the overwhelming stuff. Alright, stun one. I will break them. They believe that they are safe behind their walls. Stun that. Such little lives. Witness strength. Yeah, so I can, you can go this way. Alright, Vladimir Crimson Pack, heal four. Okay, so we're back up to 26, heading into Sedwani. So very good round for us. Not only one, but also got to heal six. Very good. Ooh. So four mana Reckoning or two mana Wild Claws. An ally... Strikes an enemy if it has overwhelm, deals excess damage to the Nexus. Iron Ballista right now is about the only thing I have with overwhelm. Oh, Bas Basilisk Bloodseeker. But I'm taking this because two mana we strike. Like, that sounds awesome with LeBlanc. That sounds awesome with Swain. Awesome with Vladimir, right? Like, that's awesome with a lot of our stuff. And that's that levels up our Swain, everything like that. I like this Wild Claws quite a bit. We can have LeBlanc have Challenger. 9-6 Quick Attack Challenger. Sure. Wild Claws. The, the thing I don't like about our run right now is all three of our champions cost five mana. I wish we could fix that somehow. Something cheaper. Perfect. Coming in hot. Need to kill this weirding stones. ASAP. Whoa. Alright, so that's a lot of damage. Down to 18. So basically just canceled out all that nexus healing we just had but weirding stones is gone let's open attack with the granite deer never mind they're not going to trade there because awakener awakener just kills the granite deer 
Lurk? Oh, we missed Lurk. I'll take everything. Run while you can. Oh, great. The winter's claw strikes. That would have been a good time to hit Lurk. Places to go. People to see. Real tough, aren't you? What's up? Three away from leveling up. I, I could have used Death's Hand and leveled this up first. And then I'd be dead 10 out of 15 for leveling up again. I feel like we need to save that. Now we are bad at... Uh, we're bad at lurking. Yes, love the wild claws. No! Alright, so what was that? 6-7? Really need this to kill this thing. Yes. Alright, mirror image. Um, do I want to just mirror image the blood seeker with the overwhelm? I think I do. Let's Okay, yeah, let's lead with drummer. Let them play something. Good. Actually, no, I should have grabbed it. Yeah, I should have done the Blanc. Hmm. Okay. Now we hit Lurk. Wait, so LeBlanc's... LeBlanc has Lurk? Even though LeBlanc costs two more, it still counts as something that costs three, so LeBlanc has Lurk. Lurk Blanc. Okay, I really don't like this Immortality at the start of the game. Heal 10. I think you just want, like, powers that help, help you win instead. I don't like the Allies attack Nav 1. The Dragon's Rage give everything Fury. We could do that. We could definitely have all of our things have Fury so that whenever they're killing stuff, they survive damage. They are growing. We could do everything has Fury. We could do that. It's not my favorite power. I could also re-roll and look for a better power. No, I understand Lurk activates when you attack, but the, the the LeBlanc got the plus one, plus zero from the Lurk. Right? Like, the obviously, the Bloodseeker did not get plus one, plus zero, because this thing's not three or less. But the LeBlanc did, so they I guess they see LeBlanc as having Lurk. I'm going to use the re-roll. It's Fury or re-roll? Let's re-roll. Last re-roll. Okay, Black Market Discount. Round start grant the weakest ally plus one plus one is also kind of cool, but let's go black market discount. Reduce the cost of your most expensive card in hand by one every single round. Because you remember how I've been talking about how I don't like how all of our champions cost five? The black market discount can definitely help with that. So there we go. Um, we do not get to add on. We don't get to reduce the cost for our champion item. If we do Swain Summon draw a card, then that means we draw two, because remember it summons the two Swains. I think Fury is the best out of these, and I guess we Fury this LeBlanc? Maybe we Fury the Swain. Which one are we Furying? Yeah, sure can. Yep. I'll, yeah, I'll hover over the powers. Um, these aren't great. All right, so right now I have three LeBlancs and three Swains. Which which one do I want? 
four of. I guess Swain. All right, I guess Fury Swain. I don't know. This LeBlanc. So it says Challenger. Okay. LeBlanc's so big that, like, the Fury on the, the LeBlanc, because it's already so big, it's just, it doesn't seem to matter as much. Yes, if Swain does kill enemies with the Nexus Strike ability, that will that will trigger the Fury, and the Fury will happen all the time. So yeah, allies everywhere that cost three or less are lurkers and have lurk. So that would be like LeBlanc is a lurker that has a lurk. All right, you're definitely gone. I need something earlier, but I don't want to mulligan either one of these two champions. I should maybe be keeping that Ballista. Okay, cool. Not not really that punished. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Hmm. The thing that's not so bad about that is. Okay, this this actually this looks kind of is that it's less maybe it'll be less units for them. I should have kept that iron ballista. Saved. Alright, I'm playing LeBlanc. Uh to kill Professor. Um, trade Ballista for a 4-4? Four, four. I mean, I guess so. Yes, Lurk. Yeah, see? This LeBlanc has Lurk. Oh, they got both MK2s. Is not cool. Hello, my darling. I want to play Swain on their Two attack right. round. We're fine on our own. Okay, so they only did that thing. No one not no not the four four. I was I was definitely considering keeping Noxion Fervor up to protect against that. I wish we had, like, the power to give all of our things Overwhelm. Like, that's the power that we need. Just have everything have Overwhelm. Fear the power. You flatter me, Grand General. What? Damn it. And that thing can only die so much. I didn't really count it out of exactly where I should put the LeBlanc, I guess, for, like, getting a second mirror image. I am everywhere. I am everyone. I guess the first one. Leveled up champions! <laughs> LeBlanc, then Vladimir, then Swain. The 
All right, casting this Wayne's Ravenous Flock to put a card that does not have a Puff Cap back into the deck. Got a bunch of cheap cards. Where are we at? You're at 10. Hmm. I guess we've just done things. Let me show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy. Okay. Got a plan. Oh, I shouldn't have played that Crimson Disciple, actually, because I'm, I'm going to need that spot. Oh, well, oh my gosh, that card? Okay, so we're gonna mirror image. Oh, it's gotta be five plus power, right? I can't get the Swain. I wanted to get like a whole bunch of Swains in play. Oh, I was gonna get, I was gonna have like triple Swain in play because because whenever this is summoned, it gets another copy. Hmm. With the Fury, it didn't kill anything with the Fury before. Wait. Wait, 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 Wild Claw. Wild Claw. Kill something. No, no. Okay, good. I was worried about removal spell from them. Okay, mirror image. Unfortunately, now the mirror image costs zero, but whatever. Now we have Triple Swain. So now whenever we do, like, Blade's Edge, one damage to them, stun three things. <laughs> Alright, Sigil of Malice, two damage to you. Stun some stuff. Everything's stunned. All right, now we need Vladimir to do all this damage. Because we want, we want to heal our Nexus. Oh yeah, get that Lurk in. All right, so heal our Nexus for five. So we're heading to the bots with that. <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. <laughs> they all have Fury. Oh, I should have put, I should have put the regular one first. Oh well. <laughs> oh, that was absurd. Dang, labs are so much fun. When do you ever do any anything close to this in regular ranked? Well, we can make LeBlanc bigger. <laughs> I don't know if we need a bigger LeBlanc. Maybe we need this health potion death's hand. Or just... Grenadier nab one, so we just get ex extra grenadiers because we, we kind of need like these early blockers, right? Like the grenadiers are such a good early blocker. I probably should just take grenadiers. It's it's either grenadier or death's hand, but I think the grenadier attack nab one because now nab is actually good against both of these opponents. Because remember, our way to beat the guard bots is by running them out of cards, but against Victor, we can run out of cards also, so like the nab can be good there too. Oh, that's true. Death's Hand also makes the Poro. I was just thinking against, like, Victor. Death's Hand just doesn't kill anything against Victor. That's what I was just thinking about. So I'm keeping the Blade's Edge. So I, I play Grenadier. I attack with Grenadier. They block with Hymer. And then I Blade's Edge. Kill Hymer. Maybe I need to just Blade's Edge and kill this 4-1 Overwhelm. Victory at any cost. Lurk. Yes! Also, getting the Grenadier does put more Lurkers in the deck. Let 
Alright, pass around. Sure about that? Not really. So again, this is where we kind of want to just uh, have their board filled with stuff, right? So I guess I'll just do these blocks. Try to keep their board full. If they play something before combat, then I get to, you know, Swain, sweet. I can play the Swain as, like, an additional blocker. That's what I was thinking here. Cool. We want to keep them from attacking, right? Like, that's, that's our way to win. They're only at seven cards left. Yeah, buddy, draw those cards. Four cards left. Then they said I was dangerous. Mm. Alright, so that will almost level up Swain. cards left. Alright, I guess we'll I guess we'll use the death hand. So now now swing up. You know that death hand could be used to stun something. So I think so I guess they're only gonna have like still have two more attacks? They can have two more attacks. Happy to do whatever's needed. Good. Thanks for keep continuing to play stuff and fill up the board day dates. Leave them not. Nah. Safety mode. Because <laughs> just unfortunately these swains just don't do anything. What? What? I did not expect that. Yeah, I know I can have the fervor stun. I wish I would attack with everything. That was unexpected. Give it all? Unfortunately, give it all does, doesn't do stunned, right? <laughs> Stun one thing and then everything else is stunned also. Because this is their last attack, though, turn. Okay. 
So we're gonna end the game at 18 life. Do we got any get a Vladimir for some Nexus healing? No Vladimir, no Nexus healing. Alright, we'll just pass. Cause that's it. <laughs> this was their plan all along. They were clearing their own board in preparation for not attacking. <laughs> That's a Velvet Alabaster said. Pretty good there. Alright, so we're going to have 18 life for Victor for the final, final boss here with this Wayne run. We got no rerolls. Let's get something good. I don't love him. I don't love him. I'm gonna take the Ballista. Give me another thing that has uh, Lurk. And I guess, you know, I wanna have, I, I wanna make sure that we can curve out into our champions. The attack nab one could be useful. Victor's probably playing awesome cards over there. Reduce the cost of this LeBlanc. Oh no, not the Bloodseeker. That thing's just so expensive. Okay. We're down to 14. Bloodseeker is definitely the worst card to possibly draw. These things are big. Eat them up, LeBlanc. Eat them up. I did, and zero regrets. Zero regrets, really? Okay, maybe I should look into that then. I am everywhere. I am everyone. And you're winning this game for us, LeBlanc. <laughs> I kind of have nothing besides you. Wasted it's one extra damage. Then LeBlanc doesn't die to a two damage spell. Swain. By my hand, okay, that could be a good Swain. By which hand, the man or the demon? I wish I, I wish we had one one more mana where I could play this this mirror image. Wish we could play that mirror image. Oh wait, I meant to do that. Okay. Okay. So they block that, and then it's gonna die. So we don't get the the problem here is we don't get the fury on the Swain, so that we get to mirror image Swain. But I think that's our best play still. Let's draw two. Wow, claws! Oh, that's not gonna kill it. Hmm. Okay, you got me. Down to six. So I hope they can't kill me with six direct damage. 
Because if not, they are dying pretty good. Maybe we should just be doubling up LeBlancs and just... I guess these things only attack for 8, LeBlanc attack, attacks for 10, but there's two different things that attack for 8, though. Why don't I... play this also? Lots of damage. So yeah, I didn't. I didn't have to play that city breaker. I could have if I don't play this. I was thinking that, you know, maybe they get another unit in play and then I stun them both. But if I don't play that city breaker, then I could have mirror image and got another ten power LeBlanc. But it is all good. Experiment succeeded. Survived at six life. Never in doubt. Had so much life left. So we had crazy LeBlanc, crazy Swain. Uh, pretty cool powers. The, the lion weight, you know, maybe that one didn't matter as much. But the black market merchant and, and definitely that mana flow really helped. So there's a uh, experiment succeeded again. There's a run with Swain on legendary mode. Those y'all watching later, hopefully y'all learn some tips and tricks here to help you win with Swain. Um, and hopefully y'all enjoyed it, because I really enjoy playing these. I think it's so much fun. We got to do some really cool things there with LeBlanc and Swain and everything. Those, Especially those last games with Piltover and Zahn. We had some crazy finishes. Uh, hopefully y'all really enjoyed that, because I, I sure did. And um, let me know which champion you want to see up next. Uh, we'll get to a couple of more champions today. We'll try to do two more. Um, you know, as long as we continue to succeed with our experiments. And we'll keep on getting these in here. So, um, yeah, those of y'all on YouTube, thank you. Uh, later on, thanks for watching. Leave those comments. Those comments always help out the channel. And let me know how you're doing with all these different champions in the Lab of Legends and how you like the new Lab of Legends. All that stuff. Love seeing those comments from y'all. But as always, thank you so much for watching some Swain Legendary Labs. And I'll see you for the next video.